So I got the wiring on this thing all finished up. I backed my truck up, plugged it in, and uh, really hardly anything worked. And I was pretty confused. So I looked at it, I tested a couple things, checked all my wiring. I thought, well, I'll just come back to this later. And on these junction boxes, they're actually labeled with what goes to what, like left signal, right signal, stop, aux power. And from the factory, they're all bolted to these lugs. And I was like, well, why do I trust what they wrote and how they wired it? And sure enough, I put my test light on it and went to my truck, left signal, right signal, stop lights, the running lights. And not all of them were actually wired correctly uh, to the correct corresponding lug. So I switched a couple over and now all the lights are working just how they should be. So that's a pretty big relief that we got the lights working. I finished tying everything up, get it all put up in the wire loom so it looks a little bit cleaner. And then after that, I think all we got left to do is put a deck on this thing and then it's ready to hit the road. So I'll get this all buttoned back up, get the toolbox back in place. So let's get to it. Got my custom wiring harness. I think it came out pretty good. I just gotta secure that area back there. But you can see the wire loom protects everything, makes it look pretty nice. The loom ends right at each light and each light is grounded just to the frame.
So as you guys can see, I chose to use carriage bolts on this trailer to secure the deck to the trailer frame. The reason being is because carriage bolts are superior in almost all ways compared to the common self-tap screw that was in here that I ground out. Once those self-tap screws get in, they pretty much rust in there and you have to cut the heads off. And then it leaves the bottom of the screw still embedded in the trailer frame, which makes it really a pain when you're redecking a trailer because that hardened steel, you just can't drill through. A lot of times you, you really can't drill through them at all. I chose to go with the carriage bolts. That way, uh, if this trailer has to get redecked in the future, you could just cut the carriage bolt off and the bolt will fall through and you could easily replace it because there's holes drilled in the trailer. The reason manufacturers don't do this, and I could only assume the nuts. Putting nuts on carriage bolts up in this C-channel is extremely difficult and very time consuming. There's really no good way to do it. There's no great tool that I found other than just using a wrench. So I'm going through one by one and just snugging all these things down. Guess I'm just gonna keep tightening until we get them all snugged up. All right guys, so just like that, the equipment trailer is all wrapped up. We got this thing all back together. I'm gonna consider this about 90% done. I still wanna do some more things like staining the wood on the deck just to preserve its longevity. And then to go through all each individual hub and uh, get all the bearings repacked. There was some people uh, commenting about the paint job and, and not sandblasting it or you know, stripping all the old paint off. And really that just has to do with money and time. This was, believe it or not, pretty much a low budget renovation of this trailer. I didn't really have a lot into it. And a lot of these materials I actually had laying around, I bought the jack and the toolbox and then the, the deck and everything else I, I pretty much had laying around here just from uh, spare supplies. I mean, I think it came out all right. All the metal that I added on here was just uh, out of my yards. But since this one was always painted, all I did was knock off all the loose paint and hit it with new oil-based paint. And uh, actually I painted this thing about six months ago and it still looks this good. So for anyone saying that this paint wasn't gonna hold up, so far it's been pretty good. I mean, there's probably better ones out there, but again, this paint, it was on sale and it was like $40. So that's what we use and I'm pretty happy with it. I might wanna put a winch on here and then, uh, like I said, do a couple other little things. So that might be in, the, in another video where I do a, 
a little bit more on this. It's gonna need some new tires and then I could probably do those rims, uh, get them polished out a little bit better. It's really not much left to do, but put it to work and go pick up some more equipment so we can keep fixing things around here. Thanks everyone for watching this. I got a lot more projects in mind.